You know how some cars are bold, fast, and yet classy? Well, that ain't us. We are wacky and we love it. We don't care how you customise your car. It's your car, wraps included. It's also hard to look any worse. <laughs> we don't have a good reputation. But on the upside, we're not the supercar brand that gets slapped around by tuners. We bite back. We may be the product of throwing a magnet into a cesspool of VW parts, but are you really driving a supercar if your pistons aren't in double digits? We went from making tractors to supercars. That's a glow up and a half. I mean, sure, we don't really have racing prowess. Our cars always looked better than they handled, but that didn't stop us from being known by everyone. Why would you spend money on ads when you have rappers and YouTubers doing it for free? KSI made a damn song about his Lambo, which he later crashed. Yeah, that sounds about right. Our logo is a bull. Doesn't really mean much, other than the fact it can f a horse up. Our cars have many hidden talents. We can off-road in Forza. We can jump in Forza. We can also break down for no reason. That's real. But sadly, you can't use this as a bonfire. <laughs> Unlike some other cars. We don't go around suing people because our demographic aren't very, how can I say it, mature. Although, we did make an SUV because it made sense financially. I mean, it looks like a Chinese Kia, but hey, we sold a lot. By the way, we always thought Whistling Diesel would be the one to destroy a Lambo. Not some unbeknownst Russian dude. Could have been a bit more creative. La Lamborghini. Growing up is for poor people. Bore fund membership, not necessary. Tinted windows, not included. <laughs> <laughs>